Wait, so, so after dinner, you're saying at nighttime, it's coffee time, yeah. right before bed. <laughs> like, you're going to immediately have, like, a nice, like, frappuccino hey, it's always and a, It's always time for caffeine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan Abrahamian. You might know me from my Armenian comedy videos from Instagram, TikTok, etc. My name is Makai. Ryan here is going to be introducing me to some phrases and terms that I would commonly find at a Persian Armenian dinner. Bari ek ek. Bari ek ek. It's at close. It's, it's bari ek ek. Bari means like happy. Ek ek means like you've come. So happy you've come is the literal <laughs> definition. Happy, comma, you've come. But really, it's like a. You're welcome to have come. It's great that you've come over. I feel like the direct word, like the English translation just doesn't do it justice for so much like most languages yeah. that are not it would be so, it feels so direct. It feels like you're feeling just like broken it's, English almost. Like but, yeah. but it makes sense though. It makes sense. It's a body it, act. It's a good thing though. I we enjoy having you over. Meban Berem. Great. Meban Berem. Meban means like a thing. Berem means like should I bring it? So like, can I bring you anything, essentially? That's like the, that's how, yeah. Like, can I bring you anything? Like if you were to sit down, settle down, or like, you know, can yeah, I bring if, you anything? If you're saying this, what is like the usual, what's what's the usual like terming this? What's what's like you're expecting them to bring? Like what's, what would you Well, if, if someone asked me that, I would be like, uh, usually I say nothing, vochinch, you know? Vochinch is like nothing or anything. Or if I, you know, I think so. I have some water, jur. 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 Jur, vochinch. Nothing. No water, no water, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Go, gorem, gorem sab, sabsi, so, sabsi. It's, it's gorme sabsi, like gorme huh. sabsi. That huh. Huh. No. Yeah, like you're about to bring up a loogie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> gorme sabsi is a very popular, like the number one Persian dish. It's like a, a stew of like a bunch of greens. It's incredibly healthy. Well, I mean, it depends on how much you have of it. Um, with like some beans in it, usually like kidney beans, like red kidney beans and uh, a meat. Is this your favorite one? No. <laughs> so I'm like talking. That was quick. I'm I was like, like, I'm was like talking it up, but no, it's not my favorite dish, but it is a really good dish. Uh, A1. A1. Yeah, okay. real good. So, Chorme Shebsi. Chorme Shebsi. Chorme Shebsi. Chorme Shebsi. There it is. Ab, ab gosh. Abgusht. Abgusht. Yeah. Abgusht is another very popular Persian dish. It's a it's like a two-step dish. Uh, one one part of it is is uh, like a it's like a bowl of like like tomato soup. I guess like made with juices from meat. I don't even know, dude. My grandparents makes it. Make I feel it, like you don't love this one. Uh, it's a really good one though. I actually, actually really do like this one. But so you get that tomato soup and you get like rip pieces of lavash and you throw it in there. So that becomes its own thing because the lavash gets all soggy. What's lavash? Lavash is like a very popular, I think it's an Armenian bread, but it's a really popular bread that Armenians like eat. It's like flatbread almost, but oh, very thin. Oh. You know, I've ever seen like kebab sandwiches. Oh yeah, those are fire. Exactly, that, that kind of bread. Yeah, on that, it's, like, it's, it's that kind of bread and then you like rip it up into like chunks and throw it into this tomato soup by the time it gets like all soggy and heavy. So you eat soggy bread. So you eat wet bread. That's you eat like... wet bread in a <laughs> tomato soup, and then on the side you also have like this. Uh, it's like pounded meat, like pounded to its core. Hi, hi, kak, hi, kakan te nescafe. So after dinner, usually um, Armenians get together and they have tea or coffee. Wait, so, so after dinner, you're saying at nighttime it's coffee time, yeah. right before bed. <laughs> like you're gonna immediately yeah. have like a nice like frappuccino. Hey, it's always a, It's always time for caffeine. <laughs> It doesn't affect us, but uh, so yeah, after dinner, you'll sit down, maybe have like a coffee, you know what I mean? And, and that's what they ask is Haika Kante Nescafe. Armenian or American is what they mean, but they say Nescafe is and they're acting like American coffee is just Nescafe, which Nescafe isn't even American. Um, but you know, they really mean like Folgers instant coffee or something. Wow, to be honest, but, I'm still thinking about the combination of the lima beans from earlier with the coffee. <laughs> and I'm just like, my stomach is like doing like a backflip right now. But yeah, you know what? I get it. I it's get a very it. colorful it. picture. <laughs> it's know, my bathroom's been through a lot. So. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> hangist ek. Very close. It's hangist ek. Hangist. This is like, let's say after you've had your coffee, you know, people are chilling, watching TV or whatever. You'll say, are you guys comfortable? 
How yeah, often is this like a positive confirmation though? After having the coffee, lima beans, uh, potentially more, maybe alcohol, who knows <laughs> at that dinner? You know, at that point, <laughs> at that point, I don't know what's going on, but I'm always comfortable at home. It, that's usually always said, but that could also be used in like bad situations too. Hungy stick, are you guys, are you okay? Yeah, it's a sad one almost. I can like hear like a grandma or something saying that, like, hungy stick, like opens up the door in the room, hungy stick. <laughs> Like, I already know, first I already know. First the meds, mom. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Patoog, gutek. So, patoog is fruit, gutek. So after, you might be pleased to hear this one. After the coffee and tea is said and done, we actually have like a, a fourth course, or like a third course at this point. It's a, a fruits. How long is this dinner? Essentially, they ask, patoog gutek, because, you know, then that's when they bring it. They don't bring you like an apple and be like, here you go, bro. They'll like bring out a platter of like the cucumbers and the, 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 the peaches and the, you know, like apples and tangerines, mm. everything. I know my family, like my grandma or something will give me like a whole like chopped up, like random fruits from like where, we'll be in the car and she'll hand me like a whole thing of fruits just like cuz, and it's like not even like asked for. Cerealus and Nayum. That's actually perfect. So cereal is like a show. You wouldn't really see this at a dinner, but this is from personal experience. Um, I'd go to like my grandma's or whatever, and I'd like want to watch some TV, you know, like HBO or something, and she'll be like cerealus and Nayum, which means like I'm watching my show, dude. Cerealus and Nayum. This is like the stern one. This one just this has this yeah. has no question, no exclamation. This one is if you were born thing. into a household, this is what they would tell you after dinner. Mm. They wouldn't tell this to a guest because the guest is you know can watch whatever they yeah, want. How is the guest treatment? Is it more like like does the guest can do no wrong, or is it like if you don't like offer to wash the dishes? Our home like, is oh. your home, man. Just just leave your shoes by the door. If I invited you over, Makai, would you be ready for a dinner? I'd be ready for the fruits. I'd be ready for the main courses. I would be ready for not the coffee. The coffee, I think I'm gonna like relax off of that, maybe potentially. But I think I'm. So hangis this with no coffee. Hangis this. Hangis this. Yeah, hangis them. That that means I'm. I'm oh, I have to like return I'm, it back. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Hangis yeah. this. You'd be like hangis them. No nest coffee for Mikhail over here. No nest. More for me. No, no, none at all. <laughs>